Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at uh, solving quadratic equations by factorizing. Now I'd recommend you to watch the previous video in this series so you kind of have an idea of what I'm going to be talking about this in this session. Okay, so the problem that we're facing with right now is we've got solve for x if x squared plus x minus 2 equals 0. Now in a linear equation what you would do is you would rearrange everything so that you have x by itself and then solve um, solve for x but with a quadratic what you also what you need to do is you need to factorize all right in this case you need to factorize so the very first thing i'm going to do is factorize this quadratic so i'm looking for two numbers that are multiplying to negative two and the same two numbers that are going to add up to positive one and the only thing that i can think about is two and negative one two and negative one because two times negative one is negative two and two plus negative one equals one so I can factorize this quadratic as x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 1 equals 0. Now once I get to this stage, I know that when I multiply two numbers and if the answer is 0, one of the numbers has to be 0. So either this green part equals 0 or the red part equals 0. So and I can write that up. I can say x plus 2 equals 0 or x minus 1 equals 0. And from here, I need to rearrange it. So in this case, x is equal to 0 minus 2. Therefore, x is equal to negative 2. And here, x is equal to 0 plus 1. Therefore, x is equal to positive 1. So the solution for this particular quadratic when it equals to 0, I'm going to get when x is equal to 1 or negative 2. And that's, yeah, that's kind of idea. Uh, that's how we start off with these questions. Now moving on to a different variety of these types of questions, all right? So in the next example, we've got solve for x if 3x squared plus 12x equals 0. Now, we can straight away see that this is a quadratic, but it's not those quadratic where you find two numbers that multiply to this and blah, blah, blah. We kind of need to be a bit, little bit, we can try and factorize this, so let's factorize this first. When we factorize this, we can see that 3 and x are common factors. So I can take 3x out, and I'm going to get x plus 4. Because 3x times x is x, 3x squared, and 3x times 4 equals to 12x. From here, what I have here is, again, the, kind of the situation of two, bra two numbers multiplying to equal 0, which means either this thing is 0 or this thing is uh, 3x is equal to 0. So I can write it up. 3x equals to 0 or x plus 4 equals to 0. Now in this case, x is equal to 0 divided by a number, therefore x is just going to be 0. And on this side, x is equal to 0 minus 4, and simplifying that, I get x is equal to negative 4. So the two solutions for this quadratic is x is equal to 0 or negative 4. So, you know, you've got to factorize the um, a quadratic and then once you factorize it, you can actually solve for when those um, brackets are going to equal to zero. One more question, folks. And this time I have something like this, x squared minus 16 equals zero. Now, factorizing x squared minus 16, um, I'm actually going to show you guys two methods of doing this. All right. The first method is factorizing it. Obviously, when I factorize x squared minus 16, I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 16 and adding up to 0. But also, looking at this, I know that this is difference of two squares. If you don't know how, how difference of two squares work, have a look um, at this series, guys, and there is a video explaining the difference of two squares. But anyway, in this case, I've got x minus 4 and x plus 4 equals to 0. Once again, two numbers multiplying to equal to 0 it means one of these numbers has to be zero. So either you got the green part equals to zero or the red part that equals to zero. Writing it up, so x minus 4 equals zero or x plus 4 equals zero. Simplifying this, I've got x equals zero plus 4, so x equals positive 4, while on the other side I've got zero minus 4 and x equals to negative 4. So my two solutions are x equals to positive 4 and negative 4. Now, that's one way of doing this. 
The other method that I was going to show you real quickly was this one here. If you have x squared minus 16 equals 0, rearranging this, I could have x squared equals 0 plus 16, which means 0 plus 16 is just 16, and x is equal to square root of 16. Now remember, when you take square root of a number, you can actually get the positive version, it's plus or minus. Because if you think about it, I could have 4 times 4 equals 16. Also, negative 4 times negative 4 is also equal to 16. So I could really say x is equal to plus or minus 4, or just writing it as positive 4 and negative 4. All right. Cool. That's basically it for this session, folks. Uh, thank you for watching. Any questions, drop it in the comments. All right. Thanks again.